Hey guys, it's Isaac from Wisp Talk. Uh, I wanted to do a quick video about uh, this setup. I've uh, posted some pictures of this rig before. This is a new one getting ready to go up, and uh, I thought I'd just address some of the questions that have come up. These are Italite dual band sectors. They have a 2.4 gig and a 5 gig section on the back of them. Uh, they have a really nice bracket on the back, and that's dual purpose. That can do EPMP like I've got here, or it can do ubiquity. Uh, it slides in there if I could get it lined up right pretty easily. Um, so we've got three sectors. These I'm using as 120s. Um, they're actually 90s, um, but you do lose 6 dB on the outside edges if you use them as 120s. Uh, we're running Ubiquity 2.4 and EPMP 5 on here. Uh, I could get into the number of reasons we're still using Ubiquity, but the punchline is uh, this pop already has Ubiquity on it, um, so we're going from an Omni to uh, sectors. So I don't really want to roll a van. We are not interested in swapping the technology out right now. So uh, we'll just move folks from the Omni over to whichever sector they happen to be getting the best signal on. Um, so that's pretty much it for the antennas. I do like these antennas. Um, there's a lot of guesswork that does have to be done as far as your down tilt and things like that. Um, but I like them. The hardware seems to be pretty sturdy um, for what it is. Um, we've had good luck with them. So three 120s, um, two four and five gig. Uh, these are great for places where you're paying per antenna or if real estate's just a premium. Um, the one thing I have discussed with people is there's kind of a big disparaging difference between the 2.4 pattern uh, vertically and the 5 gig pattern. Um, if you've got your 5 gig at about 5 degrees, your 2.4 is going to be shooting across the horizon. So the good news there is um, a lot of folks I know use 2.4 for customers further away and they use 5 gig for customers up close. Um, so this kind of works in that that favor for you. Um, the whole thing is being powered off of one uh, Netonix Wisp Switch 8 150 AC. Um, this is the new switch that came out not too long ago. You might notice it doesn't have any SFP ports on it. So that's some added uh, space saving and cost saving if you're not using fiber at your uh, pop. And of course, I've got one, two, three. These are my 48 volt outputs for my 5 gig, and my one, two, three for my uh, 24 volt ubiquity stuff. And I skipped the port in the middle there. I usually put a management port on my switches. Um, these have management VLAN, so they're tagged. Um, and this port right here is untagged, so I can plug a laptop in and see everything on the tower if we ever need to do maintenance. And then my uh, port 8 is going right now into the server room, um, but this is going to face a little micro tick router at the tower, um, and away we'll go. So that's the setup. Uh, questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Uh, we're going to be hanging it all tomorrow. Maybe I'll post a video of that, but uh, cheers.